Good morning y'all, it's Hannah and welcome to today's vlog. Today is March 3rd and I'm fixing to leave. I'm currently out here in the car waiting on Jordan and Lila because they're going to go with me. I just got a call from the post office that my chicks were there from my hatchery that we ordered. So I'm super excited. This is my first time like ordering chicks. I've always gotten them locally but I want to start breeding the blue Americanas. So mama was so sweet and ordered me some and I'm so excited. And then we're also going to pick up some donuts from Hilliard Donuts because yesterday mama and I tried to get some on Tuesday and we always forget their clothes on Monday and Tuesday since they're open during the weekend so whenever we got it they were closed so I told mama I would get her some donuts and I gotta hurry back home though because I've got to get the babies in their brooder and everything all right we're here I'm gonna go get my babies really I did a lot of research for I ordered some you should probably tell them things. Yeah. What kind of birds are they? They're blue Americanas. Where did you order them? Myers Hatchery. They're in Ohio. Uh, that would be good name. Thank you. Myers Hatchery. Myers Hatchery. Huh. You can just go on there and search for whatever. You have a blessed day. You too, sweetheart. Thank you. You're welcome. When you hear him make a noise, that's a good thing. You want to hear him doing that. <gasps> They're so pretty. Look. They are packaged oh so good. They're warm. It's like an unboxing video. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, you were selling them. No, I'm not selling these. <laughs> uh, I think all of them look okay. Yeah, they all look okay. Alright, who wants to hold it? Besides you in the arm. Um... There you go. Okay, they are absolutely <laughs> adorable. They all look to be okay. I have six. No, I have seven pullets and a cockerel in there. So we'll head to the donut shop really quick. We're going to the donut shop? Yeah. I'm gonna get a Yoohoo there. Yeah, you can get a Yoohoo. And then we'll head back home. I gotta hurry because I gotta get them in their brooder and get them eaten and everything. Okay, so the donut shop is closed. I'm not sure why. I'll have to look at their Facebook page. So Jordan and I went into the gas station. Oh, they didn't um, have any breadsticks because Little Caesars wasn't open yet. We got some of the gas station donuts. They're definitely not as good as Hilliard donuts, but it's something. I haven't had a gas station donut in a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink my donut. Hilliard donuts are so much better. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is now the next day. My camera died yesterday. Um, I've got the chicks back there behind me. They are doing really, really well. So in here I've got the eight blue Americanas that I got from Myers Hatchery and I also have two silkies in here that I hatched out that I'm going to be selling. I did a lot of research on hatcheries before ordering. I've been researching Myers for a really really long time like maybe a couple years. So I knew if I ever ordered any that's where I would be ordering them from. And I'm super happy with everything about Myers. Like I love them so much. They handle their chicks by hand. They don't use like machines or anything like that. All of the birds looked really, really good when they got here. None of them were weak. Or Whenever you ship chicks, you ship day old chicks because when they hatch, they normally don't eat the first couple days and they're okay not to do that because they have absorbed the nutrition from the yolk and the egg. I normally use the big plastic tubs like the storage container things, but I currently only have one and I'm using it for some um, other hatchlings. So I just grabbed these pools out of the barn yesterday and washed them. I have to go and get another tub, so this is just temporary. Currently got this one set up right here because I have ducklings hatching um, today and tomorrow. And then I've got another brooder ready for some chicks that I have hatching. And then right here, I have some eggs that are going to be going in. And then there's some more right here. And then I've got more 
underneath there. All these I'm going to be selling. I have a lot of people that are waiting on babies of mine to hatch. These are Pekin Ducks, Silkies, Cochin, Bantams, Easter Eggers crossed with Lavender Orpington. So they're like a lavender and blue Easter Egger. And then I have Lavender Orpingtons. So I'm super excited for those to be hatching. And then these blue Americanas I will be um, hatching and selling spring of 2022. And I have a very detailed chick care guide that I've made that I will link down in the description box for y'all in case you're new to having babies or you want to learn more about it. And I'm also going to be making a video of talking about breeding and hatching out your own. And then here I've got three babies so far. There are two blue Easter Eggers and a Lavender Orpington. And you can see that one right there that's about out. And then the ducklings. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. There's the ducklings. Um, it looks like there's two out there. And then there's another one over there that just hatched. Um, you want to open your incubators as least as possible. So the temperature and humidity and everything stays where it's supposed to. Otherwise, it will slow your hatch down. All right, y'all, it is now March 5th. In the middle of the night, I had some ducklings hatch. Um, right now, I have like six or seven, but I have three that are dry. Oh my goodness. Ducklings are so soft and fuzzy. Like, I just love to hold them and cuddle them. Here's two of them, and the other one's over there. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are so cute. These two are actually going to one of my super sweet subscribers. I've had her in a video. Her name's Bailey. Y'all are gonna go to Bailey. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, y'all, it is now March 7th and I'm currently getting ready right now to go to our local farm swap up at tractor supply because i still have some ducklings and a couple lavender orpington chicks and a silky chick so i'm currently getting them ready right now to go i'm fixing to clean their pool out um, and put bedding in instead of puppy pads i just cleaned this last night and this morning it's already a disaster ducklings are so messy but I've already taken out all of the ones that I'm holding for people and put them in here with my Americanas. So I have five lavenders in there that I've already sold. One person I have to meet Monday and then the rest are for my boyfriend's grandma. These are the ones that I'm bringing with me today. So I'm going to change out the quail bottom for this water bottom and then I have to get their feed and put bedding in and all that. Yesterday, I met a couple people in my town and sold a couple ducklings, some silkies, and some blue and lavender Easter eggers. So this is the rest that I have out of this batch, and then I'm putting another batch in next week. So I'll probably go um, and do farm swap again next month in April when my other batch hatches. Here's one of the ducklings. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. This is a lavender Orpington baby. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if this is focused. There we go. He's so cute.
All right, the babies are ready to go. While we're driving, I'll take out their food and water, but I'm gonna go and load up all of my supplies and my boxes and business cards and all that stuff. All right, y'all, it is now March 8th. Um, yesterday, we had a really good turnout at Trader Spot. I was able to sell all of my ducklings in like five minutes of being there. And they went to a really good home with a big pond and children and everything. So I'm really happy about that. I have more ducklings hatching next week and then a bigger batch hatching next month. So I was able to give out a lot of business cards. So I had a lot of people messaging me saying that they would get some whenever my ducklings hatched. So that's really, really good. I feel like this vlog is kind of all over the place. I've honestly been so busy this week. So I haven't really been able to like, you know, vlog like a whole day. But I am currently in the Taco Bell Park lot because I am needing someone with this adorable baby oh my goodness um I have this lavender Orpington chick with me I've held it the entire way here so I'm meeting someone today with this baby I also picked up some chicks when I was at the farm swap um I got a black copper moran a black australorp and two red blue laced Wyandots which I'm super excited about um, I'm pretty sure that's what they call blue red lace, red blue laced, the splash wine dots, like the blue and the red. Um, so I'm super excited about those. And I'm hoping that the Moran that I got is a rooster because I have Morans and I used to breed them, but my rooster passed away a couple years ago. So I need another rooster to be able to hatch out the Morans again. It's the baby. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. If y'all are adding to your flock this year, comment below what breeds you're adding or your favorite breeds that you love. I came on here to end this vlog. I'm sorry if it was all over the place, but I wanted to come on here and end it so I could start fresh with my footage because I've just been so busy. I have not been able to like vlog a whole day and like edit like I normally do, like I said earlier on in the video. But I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and everything like that for behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. I thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all really soon with another one. Bye!